Boom, 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 clap. Sound of my heart, the beat goes on and on and on and on. And on. Hey, what's up, podcast? Hello. What you mean Hi. Can you stop the recording there? Hello, welcome to the Nathan White podcast with me, yeah. Andrew Stein. Beep, boop, bop. Put these bad boys on and then we boop. We boop. Oh, I really, really like this. So many mouth noises. I know. Wow. Is that, or is that just you sounds... behind me going? Um, probably. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to this audio recording podcast with Nathan White. Be careful, this is wrapped around coffee. Hello. My it's, name al- is it's also White. not recording here. It was one cold Thursday, and Nathan decided that he wanted to go for a jog to start the day off right. He picked up his shoes and his keys too. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I guess I'm doing a bit of a weekly vlog. It's Tuesday, I forgot about this yesterday, but schoolwork is happening. Currently I have a lot of reading to do for a class tomorrow. I have to write some responses to reading questions and viewing questions. It is so hard for me to get through assigned readings. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just not a fan of like academic readings. <laughs> just a blanket statement. Not a fan of academic writing, you know? Even if I look and I'm like, oh, it's just 10 pages. 10 pages on like a PDF that's been, well, this one's literally been uploaded backwards. So I have to scroll from bottom to top and I'm gonna get very confused. It just takes me forever to read the shortest amount of things. And I have to take notes, lots of notes because I don't think anything is actually sinking in. <laughs> I really miss reading for pleasure during school semesters because like, I don't know. Am I just not a fan of nonfiction? I've bought a lot of like informative books I've got some books on like Noam Chomsky, Manufacturing Consent. I've got a book on socialism. I have a lot of great informative books that I would like to read in theory, but like once I'm done with school, I don't know, maybe I just have to take it like one chapter at a time. Like there's no pressure, but right now there is because I need to do this. And it's just not enjoyable. Does anybody else feel that way? <laughs> it's kind of the same way that I feel when I have to watch these assigned viewings. Some of the films are great. Just yesterday I watched Taxi Driver for the first time and it was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. And today I have to watch McCabe and Mrs. Miller, which I am betting that I will not enjoy much. And it's a full two hours long. So that's not really motivating me to get through the reading because I know once I'm done with the reading, I just have to watch the movie that I'm not looking forward to. Oh well, I'm totally procrastinating right now, I gotta go, bye. Hi, it's Wednesday and I'm still in the same spot on my couch. This is where I've been spending 80% of my nine to five, which are pretty much my school hours. I do have a desk and an iMac, but I, to be honest, don't like the lighting on Zoom because the natural light comes from behind me and then my face is only reflected in the screen light and it makes me look sick. So yeah, does anyone else get self-conscious on Zoom and you're like, oh, how do I look? <laughs> like, how's this angle? Like, obviously I shouldn't think that anyone is looking at me out of all the faces, but I'm like, I don't know, you can't help it. Or I can't help it. So today's big job. I just had one of my classes this morning and now I need to write a paper only like a two page paper, 1200 words, and create a short presentation that I'm presenting tomorrow. And it is on The Shining. I actually had not seen The Shining in full. I obviously through culture, through society, through existing as a person have absorbed a lot of The Shining. I've seen a lot of specific scenes, but I had realized when I went to watch it that I in fact had never actually seen the whole thing. And I was like, oh, I don't know how this ends. <laughs> I know it doesn't end well necessarily, or maybe it does. Uh, no spoilers. I don't even want to give a spoiler for a classic film. Luckily, I very much enjoyed it. So we had to pick our choices for projects at the beginning of the semester. And it's always scary doing that because I'm like, I don't know what I'm gonna wanna do 
a presentation or a paper on until I read the thing or until I watch the thing, but I knew that The Shining would at least be an enjoyable watch. So I picked it, and the focus is supposed to be on the music, at least in the paper that I need to write. So I just, this is the first time that I have printed out my assigned readings. I think it is a lot easier to read than trying to read a PDF on my computer, and also I got to underline a bunch of things. So that's what I just did. I just went through and read and underlined. And I'm somewhat regretting choosing this topic because I know nothing about music. So I don't know why I picked a week that focuses on sound. <laughs> like I'm reading it and I'm like kind of understanding it, but there's no way I could possibly think of my own original thought regarding the score of The Shining because I'm like, oh, it just sounds like scary, <laughs> stupid. Um, so now I'm gonna try to do more research and find other papers that maybe I'll understand better and try to figure out what I'm going to write this paper on. Both the paper and the presentation are due by midnight and then of course I'm presenting tomorrow as I said so I would like to get it done as soon as possible. Ideally before Nathan gets home because then we can sit and enjoy our show and have dinner and I won't have to be stressing about my midnight deadline. I'm not even going to start thinking about the presentation yet because it's only like five minutes plus a clip that I need to show but I still get nervous even on Zoom presentations and I get my stupid shaky voice that sounds like I'm gonna cry and I I I hate it every time I have to do a presentation I'm like why do I have this problem I need to take a public speaking class maybe it's too late for that it's just like my nerves want to betray me and I'm like I'm not nervous but then my subconscious is like yeah you are <laughs> now you're gonna sound like a little I was gonna say a little bitch but that's misogynistic you're gonna sound like a little dork who's scared of doing a small little Zoom presentation. And that is somewhat true. Okay, let's get back to work. Hey, it's midnight. So I spent all day reading and trying to figure out what I was gonna do for this presentation and write my little essay. 1200 words, how bad could it be? I've gotten to the point where I was looking at my syllabus trying to figure out What's the penalty for turning in an essay late? Am I allowed to? Evidently, my professor has written nothing about that on the syllabus, so I guess I'm taking a risk because this paper is not done. I finished the presentation. It's not great, but oh well, it's happening in the morning. Um, but yeah, this paper, I just can't. My brain just feels fried and I have reached my limit, so. I guess I'll hope that I can turn it in late. If not, it's only 20% of my grade. Oh well, but then I'm like, I'm graduating. I doubt I will ever have the desire to go to grad school. So like, what does my GPA matter? But then again, I'm, I'm just the type of student that can't bear the thought of getting a B or worse, a C. Oh well, it doesn't matter because <laughs> I'm tired and I want to go to bed. Bye. Hi, it's Thursday. The last time you saw me was about uh, 13 hours ago, and yes, I'm wearing the same shirt because it's comfortable, and I slept in it. <laughs> oh well. So I just had my class, I did my presentation, everything went fine, and now I'm trying to finish <laughs> writing that essay, that pesky essay. Um, I emailed my professor to let her know that I will be submitting it late and that I hope she'll accept it. Still don't know. <laughs> I was wondering if I'd be able to fall asleep because I feel like I usually would just stay up late or like I'd try to wake up early and finish something. But like this time I was just so stuck. Like usually I have an outline. I can like, you have to take the time to like add more. But like this was just <laughs> copy pasted like quotes that I wanted to include from my sources. But like I had no idea which direction to go in for this paper. So I was like, I don't know how to go about this. So I just went to bed and I fell asleep. It was really nice. I was so tired. And then um, in the morning, I was kind of tempted to wake up early and just try to finish it before 1030. But then I was like, no, <laughs> no. So I woke up nice and late. I got ready. I even had time to grab my Starbucks before class. Um, my throat was so dry this morning. So I was trying to drink water because like, 
I knew I had to do a presentation and I was gonna be like choking. So I think I actually was fine and I had just the barely littlest bit of that I'm gonna cry uh, voice, which I almost have right now. Maybe it's, um, I think I forget how to breathe. <laughs> I've been meaning to like take a course or something and learn how to breathe because I swear I do it wrong. <sighs> I don't know how to belly breathe or anything. I have this problem in my podcast too. It's like, I'm always like, sighing and choking and trying to breathe because I'm not good at it. Anyway, now I'm watching more clips from The Shining to add details to my paper, which hopefully I will finish today, but I forgot that I have an ortho appointment in like an hour. Um, in case you didn't know, I'm doing Invisalign currently and I'm not wearing it, oops. And I've got my little attachments on my teeth if you've ever noticed, but they haven't been very noticeable, so that's nice. Then after the ortho today, I have another class at like four. So I don't have much time in between things, but hopefully I'll have enough time to maybe finish this paper before Nathan gets home because that would be ideal because I just wanna chill. I just wanna chill. I hope you guys are enjoying this weekly vlog of mine, which is just me sitting in one place, mostly complaining about my schoolwork, but this is what I'm doing, so gotta be real. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop procrastinating. Bye. We meet again, whispering at midnight. I just did a marvelous thing. That is my computer, my laptop turned off. Because I finished my paper. <laughs> yes. It was over 12 hours late. And I've accepted that I'm gonna lose points, but it's cool, it's fine. I love that feeling you get when you finally finish a paper and you're like, wow, I never wanna think about this thing ever again. Unfortunately, this essay may have ruined the shining for me, but that's fine. Okay, I'm going to bed, I'm tired. Gotta go take my makeup off, bye. Testing. Testing, 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 testing. Hey, what's up? Happy birthday to Tiffany. Happy birthday, sweet one. Thank you. Hey, so I got some ink box tattoos. I got this lavender inspired by Aix-en-Provence. I also got this wine bottle and glass. As you can see, I like kind of minimalist, lime-based tattoos. I'm tempted to get real ones, obviously. And I also got this cactus thing inspired by my home state, Arizona. Hi, it's October 14th. It is like 1 p.m. I don't have a class today because today's Wednesday and it's Monday schedule and I don't have Monday classes, so I am chilling. I'm also very much procrastinating. I have not been great at making these weekly vlogs because I feel like I just don't do much. Kind of hard to make a vlog about like school work that involves reading, screening films, or writing discussion posts, or Zoom classes. And then when Nathan is here, we make dinner and watch Netflix, which I guess I could film, maybe a little bit. I did wanna check in because, well, first of all, I'm sitting on the other end of my couch. I usually sit, oh, why am I filming on my phone? I usually sit there. So today it kind of feels like I'm changing things up, just a little bit. I'm currently trying to finish a screening. I had about, can't do math. Really can't do math. 130 minutes. For one of my classes, I had about two hours worth of screenings, two films, and I was supposed to do my discussion response by 11 p.m. last night, and this is the first time I've ever been late to send that. This vlog is gonna include a lot of those moments. I also missed my blog post that was due on Monday because I hadn't read that chapter yet, and now I'm behind in that class. So that's where I'm at. I feel like I was peak stressed a few weeks back, as you saw, writing my shining paper. And then I wrote a paper on Jennifer's body last week. And it was a big relief to get that done. But then I guess my problem is that over the weekends, I don't do much schoolwork because I want to focus on YouTube work. But then the week starts again and then I'm overwhelmed. Or on the weekends, I just want to spend time with Nathan and... Since he's not in school, it's kind of hard to 
find time to do my schoolwork. I mean, I could, but I also just don't feel like doing it on the weekends. <laughs> I was really stressed this weekend because I was supposed to have a sponsored video due like tomorrow that I just had not even filmed yet and I was getting overwhelmed about it and didn't want to rush writing it and planning it because then I knew when I filmed it, it just wouldn't turn out right. So finally, yesterday I woke up and I was like, wait, I can ask for an extension. This is not a hard deadline for the sponsorship. Why am I stressing myself out about something that does not have to be done this week? So I've given myself some extra time to get that done, which I need to use wisely and actually work on it as soon as possible so that I don't do this again to myself next week. But um, yes. I don't know why lately I have felt so ridiculously stressed when I have like a big deadline, like the day-to-day -day stuff, like usually blog posts, weekly assignments, small things I can keep up with. But when I have like a big paper or like I just had a bunch of midterm papers or sponsored videos always stress me out just cause I can't like force my creativity or I can't force myself to feel motivated. It kind of comes in bursts. I took a personality quiz or something recently that said, are you more likely to work in bursts or like a steady organized fashion? And I was like, oh my God, I am definitely a burst. Like definitely. Also, I've found that like my peak work hours are probably like 1 p.m. to five or six. And then Nathan comes home and we have dinner. And if Nathan were not here, I would probably continue to work through the night, like seven to like 10-ish. So I feel like I like to work later in the day. I really like my mornings to be very relaxed. I've been sleeping in really late. I need to work on my sleep schedule. But I wake up and then I'm like, I can't just get straight to work. I need to have some breakfast. So I have my breakfast. I watch some videos or whatever. I have some tea. I drink some water. And then before I know it, I'm like, oh, it's lunchtime. And then I'm like, oh, gotta have lunch. Yeah which I think is fine, but I just, it's a little bit hard because I'm on this schedule based on how I'm feeling. Meanwhile, Nathan goes to his nine to five and then comes home and like his day is done. So I feel like in that way, we're on different schedules. But I also know that I just can't force myself to work nine to five, especially from home. It would be ideal if I could like wake up at the same time as Nathan, get ready, and then like sit at my desk back there. Sit at my desk all day, take a couple short breaks for snacks or tea or lunch, and then just keep tapping away. But like creatively, so in terms of like YouTube work, that's usually not how I work, especially when it comes to main channel videos. So those ones really take me a lot of time and I cannot force myself to just do it as much as I would love to. It'd be a lot more convenient if I could. For things like vlogs or second channel posts, it's easier for me to just like be inspired, film it, and then upload it, like that's easy. Or like my podcast, if I'm in the mood to record a podcast, I can spend the whole day recording it, editing it, editing the video, and posting it all. Like that's all very doable. But like my main channel videos really depend on my mood and how inspired I am. And then the actual filming is the most difficult part for me because I have to be like in the mood to be on camera and like perform. So this is all an elaborate way of me wasting eight and a half minutes that I've just sat here talking. But I kind of wanted to vent about it because I often beat myself up or feel like I'm lazy or that I work wrong. But then on the other hand, I recognize like I can see when I work best or I can see how I work. Like there's no way in trying to force yourself to fit like other people's study tips or homework tips or work tips. Like some of them may work for you, but I think if it doesn't work for you, stop trying to put a square into a circle. I feel like I use that analogy a lot. So it brings me a lot of peace when I go, okay, I am a burst type of person, you know? That doesn't mean I'm lazy. That's just how my energy works and my creativity. I guess it's just about reckoning with like, on one hand, if I get my schoolwork done and I pass my classes and I graduate, that's all I need to do. And also if I get my work done by the deadlines, I make enough money to pay my bills, that's all I need to do. But also there's that like more overachiever side of myself that's like, well, you don't wanna just do the bare minimum. So I'm always conflicted by that. I need to finish <laughs> this movie. It's been interesting, but I find myself pausing it and 
finding excuses way too frequently. Last thing I wanted to mention, just a small thing. As I said, I'm drinking tea. I got into a really consistent iced coffee or iced Americana with milk, almost the same thing, habit. And it's nice because then I get to leave my apartment once a day, go walk to Starbucks, come back with my coffee, and we've talked about this. Some people don't like my love for Starbucks. It's not like specifically Starbucks. I think it's just that I like having an excuse to go outside and I like the feeling of getting a coffee and bringing it home. I know you can make coffee at home. I have coffee stuff here. It never tastes great. So then I'm like, I'm fine with paying money for coffee. The only thing that sucks is that they don't let you bring reusable cups in right now. So I guess, yes, it's a waste of plastic, but let me live, we're in a pandemic. So I got really into my coffee, but I also realized that caffeine is not great for me. Um, so then I reached my peak work hours, but then I also hit like a caffeine high jittery moment. And then it usually makes me feel like kind of nauseous. And I'm like, why do I subject myself to this? And also when I drink more coffee, I'm more likely to not drink water. So then I'm dehydrated and that's probably why I'm also jittery. <sighs> All this to say, I'm trying to substitute my iced coffee cravings for tea. I'm a fan of Earl Grey, a little bit of sugar, some non-dairy milk, and it's good. I don't know what my point was other than, hi, I've been drinking tea. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work, bye. P.S. me from the future, I got an email from that professor saying that I got an A on my presentation and an A on my shining paper, which is great news. I don't know if she forgot that she said she was gonna take points off because I turned it in late, or if I got an A before points are off and like I will lose some points. Either way, big relief, woo! I always laugh when like every time I write a paper and I get really stressed and then I turn it in and I'm like fuck it, like whatever, just turn it in, like it's trash, it's the worst thing I've ever written. But like low key, like I tried really hard on it and like it's pretty decent. I always laugh because I'm like, oh, like I'm gonna get such a bad grade on this and then I like get an A and I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> Anyway, that was great news. Next video, I'm gonna try to not take a month to make one weekly vlog, but no guarantees. Okay, thanks, bye!